Dean and I were neighbours in Bendigo in another life and uh, we used to have a quiet wine together and we thought we should try this. We obviously focus on red wine only and I guess you know Shiraz and Cabernet are the two wines we, we make. Uh, we make about three Shiraz wines, specific vineyard wines. Uh, so, the, uh, so we're very focused on what they call terroir uh, and wines from that reflect the actual where they're grown. So it's, it's a process that Mother Nature really governs what happens. Very, very simple process with you know, fairly traditional techniques, hand plunging, uh, open vat fermenters, then aged in oak barrels. The wine we make is something we are emotionally attached to. And many people ask me which one I prefer. I answer that by saying I have two daughters. It's a bit like asking me to choose between them. I can't choose between them. They're all made here. It's all made locally, and um, uh, you know we keep in mind that um, you know that most people are now looking for uh, all natural products, products that don't have uh, artificial colours or flavours, and that's our aim to be able to reintroduce the, the natural um, component back into ice cream. I make about 60 flavours, um, <clears throat> but I can only get you know, 18, 20 out here at any one time. So it just depends on the mood of people and, uh, and the time of year as, as to what flavours I put out. There's some people who, uh, who produce a lot of um, fruits and, and berries locally and uh, I've tapped in on that and, um, and get a fair chunk of their, their boysenberry crop every year. So it's good to have something you know, truly local. Well, I mean, every, everybody's talking about this. When, when people come in here, they, um, they say, oh, look, we found out from someone else who'd been here before, um, someone back in Melbourne or in Bendigo or Castlemaine. They're all remarking about, you know, about this particular shop. And, uh, and, and one thing that seems to come out pretty much every time is that they're taking away a piece of mould or a memory of mould that's positive. And, um, you know, I think if I've achieved that, then, uh, then uh, we've really achieved something great here. We like to think we're the apple centre of Victoria. Harcourt grows beautiful quality fruit, um, beautiful tasting fruit because of the, um, the soils. And we're always a couple of weeks later than the big production centres like Shepparton, for example. Um, and we believe that that gives the fruit a, a beautiful flavour. Uh, we do a, a pure fresh apple juice, a pure fresh pear juice, um, in a number of different formats and sizes. Uh, we do our vinegars. We have a range of beautiful quality apple cider and pear cider vinegars. We also have the Harcourt brand of cider, which is an alcoholic cider. And we also have a sparkling apple juice, which is a fabulous new product that we've just come up with. Um, it's beautifully presented. It's in glass. It's a pure, fresh apple juice, lightly carbonated. Uh, with no preservatives or additives, so it's a natural, beautiful product. Yes, we um, sell a huge range for a little shop of fresh produce, which we um, get from Melbourne when we can't get it locally. So our priority is to always stock local fruit and veg. Um, we do a fantastic job with apples and pears, which obviously we grow a lot of locally. We take a lot of pride in what we sell. We take a lot of pride in the fact that we are promoting the Harcourt area with every branded product that we have. It's all labelled Harcourt. Um, we buy a lot of local produce and we sell a lot of local produce. We employ local people. Um, we don't use concentrates, add sugar, any of the shortcuts that big boys do in any of our products. So we're very proud of the fact that we make beautiful quality products and we support the local community. I remember um, going out and having my first wine. It was a Matus Rosé and I was taking out a girl I liked quite a lot and I still remember the night. And I remember the wine and, you know, Matus Rosé at the time was, I was only probably 20, 21, but it was very fancy, I thought. That, that night, 
I don't remember the meal, but I remember the wine, I remember the lady. It's just not about selling wine. It's worth selling a bit of, a bit of our soul, I guess. Yeah. <laughs>